Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider to determine whether the system described below is causal and stable. What is the system? It is being described as H of Z in terms of transfer function. H of Z is equal to 2Z plus 1 divided by Z square plus Z minus 5 by 6. So now I need to uh, say whether it is uh, both causal and stable. So how do I talk about the properties of the system? The first thing is I need to arrange the numerator and denominator as product of terms. So then only I could uh, uh, talk about the, uh, the causal and uh, stable by considering the poles and zeros. So for that, the numerator, I need to write the, as I said the product of terms. Uh, in, in this case, I can take a 2 out. I would get z plus 1 divided by 2. Correct? Similarly, in the denominator, one need to factorize it so that to write the term in terms of product of terms. So, just to try to factorize it. So, we are going to get z plus 5 divided by 4 as the first term and the second factorization is going to be z minus 1 by 4. So, how do you find this? Just this is the quadratic equation and uh, find the values for z. Correct? So, if you find the uh, values of z, we, it is going to look something like this. So, once we get this, we can talk about uh, the poles and zeros later. We can talk about whether it is causal uh, or uh, stable. Is that okay? So, whatever I have written in terms of factorization, is it right or wrong? I can check it. If I multiply these two things, I have to get my original z square plus z the minus 5 by 6 back. So just check that for the verification. z into z the z square. Then z into minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 z. Take the second term. Plus 5 by 4 z minus uh, 5 divided by 16. So try to add them. This is z square. And uh, if I take the LCM 4 here, uh, it is going to be uh, minus 4 plus 5. It is going to be plus 1 into z minus 5 by 16. Yes, this is correct. In the sense, whatever I have done in terms of product of terms, it is correct. So now I need to find the poles. Because uh, poles are the one which determine based on that I can, I can talk about the properties of the system. So, where do poles lie? In the numerator or the denominator? Poles are there in the denominator. In the numerator, I have got zeros. So, first find the location of uh, poles. So, let me write location of location of poles are so where do they lay? Uh, lie? It is z equal to minus 5 by 4, I would say the first 4. How do I say that? If I put z equal to minus 5 by uh, 4, this term becomes 0. 1 by 0, it is going to be infinity. So, you have to put such a value for z, so that the term in the denominator becomes 0. Similarly, and I have got another pole that is z is equal to I have to put something here, z equal to something, so that this becomes a 0. So, what must be the value of z? It must be 1 divided by 4. Are you getting it? If I put 1 by 4, it turns out to be 0. So, these two are going to be the poles. So, now depending on these poles, I can say whether it is causal and stable. So, there is a condition for a system to be causal and stable. So, first thing is, I have to write the condition. Then, uh, whether uh, it, it follows or not, I can uh, talk whether it is stable or uh, causal. For that, let me write the condition, very important condition for a system, for a system to be, for a system to be causal and stable, for a system to be causal and stable, all the poles, all the poles should lie, all the poles should lie inside the unit circle, inside the unit circle. So, this is the condition for a system to be stable and causal. In the sense, all the poles should lie inside the unit circle. Unit circle is the radius of uh, 1. 
in the sense whatever the values i got for uh, pole it must be less than 1 is that okay so if i consider here z equal to 1 by 4 it lies inside the unit circle z equal to minus 5 by 4 what is that it turns out to be z equal to minus 1.25 is that correct in the sense it is greater than it lies outside the unit circle so what is the answer the answer is system is not co causal and stable what is the reason because one of the poles that is z equal to minus 5 by 4 lies outside the unit circle correct so what I do is since since one of the poles since one of the poles z equal to minus 5 by 4 one of the poles in the sense this pole it is you write it in the bracket lies lies outside the unit circle lies outside outside the unit outside the unit circle therefore the system is not causal and stable the system is the system is not just be careful here the system is not causal and stable so write everything in the bold letter because this is going to be our final conclusion the system is not causal and stable are you getting it yes i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on signals and systems till then thank you everyone for watching